In this project, what I'd like you to do is to draw out an eye. It's going to be this reference, and you're going to draw it on a paper that's 14 by 8. And I'm going to show you how to set that up. And then you're going to pick a color, whether it's blue, brown, green, purple, maybe even black. Um, one of the cool colors or one of the dark colors. And you're going to do layer upon layer and create, create an eye by that. Step number one, what you're going to do is take this picture, um, this resource, and you're going to measure out your paper every two inches. This is every inch, and so you're going to blow, blow it up proportionally so that your eye is going to be twice the size as this image right here. So let's go through this, and I'm going to darken this in. You do it very lightly on your paper, but I'm going to do it dark on mine so you can see what I'm doing. But if you can do it lightly, that's going to help you. So two inches. Make a dot, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and there's 14 right there. And then you go on the top and do the same thing. You can go down the side every two inches, two, four, six, and there's eight. And don't worry if the paper's a little longer, just leave it, it's no problem. Then connect those dots. Now take your resource and you're going to use this so that this square, this square, then here we're going to start with this part of the eye. And you're going to try to match each square according to this here, almost like a puzzle. There. Now you can see here's the resource and here's the enlarged picture that I'm going to do. I'm going to erase the lines and then we're going to start painting. Now that I've erased all the lines, what we're doing is we're going to start building up layers of paint because watercolors are transparent. We're going to do a layer upon a layer upon a layer and then put your details in very last. So I'm going to put a layer over the iris over the top of the eye, over the eyebrow, and under the eye. And I put it down first by using, here's our water. I'll put that right here. And I'm going to start by getting that area wet, then touching the paint to it. You're going to use a dark color. You can use green, you can use blue, purple. You could even use black or brown. Um, I think some students have done red in the past, but I wouldn't use yellow and probably orange won't show up your details. So what I would do is take one of the darker colors, one of the cool colors, and that works best. And then what I'm going to do is leave these white, these highlights, so that um, that really shows up at the end. And I've got three brushes that I'm going to be using. I've got this wash brush or this flat, this round, and a fine zero to use for the details at the end. So you'll see me using these in different ways. So let's get that iris set right now. Now I'm gonna use blue. I'm gonna use this blue right here. I'm gonna put my paint lid right next to it and use that for the mixing. So let me get some blue going, and then I'm going to touch around the outside of the eye and let it bleed in. Next, what I'm going to do is do another layer around the edge while the paper's still wet. I'm going to do another layer of blue 
So that makes it look like it's transitioning from really dark on the edge of the iris to a little bit lighter blue on the inside. Now I'm going to do another layer of blue on the outside to get it even darker. So I'm going to mix that up in my tray. So I'm going to take this blue. Each one's going to be just a little bit darker so that it has this nice shading effect. Next, we're going to build up some shadows around the eye. The eyelid, a little bit in here, the eyebrow. Before we put the details of the hairs on, what we're going to do is build up that base, the tear duct, and then just a little bit of shadow under here. Put your water down first, and then add your color to get that neat layer. Something important, if you have too much water on your picture it's setting up, take your paintbrush, squeeze out the water by putting it by the edge and squeezing it out. It'll be like a sponge. You can take and dab up the extra water and then squeeze that into your water dish. Now, let's do these areas up here. The eyebrow, the shadow in here, the shadow above the eyelid. And we'll start with clean water and just plain, just water down at the beginning. Next, let's add the blue. So I'm going to mix some of that up in my paint tray and just touch it to the top. And by the way, you can see that this is almost dry now, so it's nice that as you're working on different areas, the ones that you started with are dry and you can come back and add more detail. So it's a dry brush. It's a dry brush on dry paper. Well, the paper's still wet. What I'm going to do is make the eyelid right over the eye just a little bit darker along the top edge. So I'm going to take my medium brush. I'm going to mix up some blue and go right along that just so it kind of blends in just a little bit more. Now we're ready to start putting in more detail. As the paper dries, the paint's not going to bleed as much. So I'm going to bring in even a darker blue and start touching some of these edges where it's starting to dry and get some good details because when the paper's dry you can get really sharp details by the way i'm going to do the tear duct now i'm going to use some dark blue but i'm going to leave a little white highlight right here like this so that it looks like it's catching the light Now that the paper is drier, we're going to start to put in some dark lines using um, a dark blue. And notice it's important to take the paint from the paint tray and put it in your lid. Don't use it right out of the little well right here because what will happen is it'll get really sticky. But take it, mix it with the water in here, and use it from your lid. Now I'm ready to do the pupil. It's dry and I'm just going to use a blue solid right there, but leave that white highlight.
Next what I'm going to do is put some light blue lines in here in the iris. Eventually I'm going to put the dark ones in. But there's little lines radiating out from the pupil in the iris. So let me show you how to do that now. I'm going to mix up a lighter blue that's darker than this blue, but lighter than this blue here. Now that the eye is all dry, what we're going to do is we're going to start the eyelashes. Eyelashes, generally speaking, radiate out from the pupil. So the eyelashes here, because they're coming straight at you, would be short and they go straight up. But as they come down here, they're going to kind of go at this angle like this with just a little bit of a curve. Next, next what I'm going to do is do the eyelashes on the bottom and they're going to be just every so often and a few sparse ones right here and then they stop right about here. Now on this part what I'm going to do is put dark lines into the iris and those are going to be the final lines to kind of give the eye a little bit more definition. Now the final step is to put eyebrow hairs in here. First I'm going to put in light blue ones and then I'm going to put the dark, one, dark blue ones on top of that after it dries. Here's the final eye in one color. Again, choose the color you'd like to do. Brown, blue, green, purple, maybe one of the cool colors. But I put in layer upon layer, and that's the important thing. And in fact, the eye probably had five to six layers once I got the edge done and I was putting in the lines in the iris. Um, but this is the final eye.